Hi everyone, Mitch here from CircuitStream. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how to download and install Unity. Let's get started. Over on the Unity site here, unity.com, we're going to go over to this Developer Tools section and then download Unity. And you can see there's a big blue button on this page that says download for the current operating system you're on. I happen to be on Windows at the moment, so it says download for Windows for me. It might say uh, download for Mac OS or download for Linux for you. That's okay, just click the big blue button. And this downloads something called the Unity Hub, unityhubsetup.exe. So let's save that and go ahead and open it up here. And we're met with this licensing agreement here. Let's just click on right through that, install it to our program files directory. So what is Unity Hub anyway? So Unity Hub is a tool that allows us to install and manage different versions of the Unity editor, as well as our various projects that we have on the go with Unity. You'll find very quickly that uh, when working with Unity and downloading other people's projects and experimenting, you'll end up with a bunch of different versions of the Unity editor. And Unity Hub is a great way to manage those different installations. So now that the installation is done, we can click finish here, run Unity Hub. And this is it, the Unity Hub. It might look a little different for you because I have this huge list of various projects that I have previously opened with the Unity Hub. You're starting from scratch, so your list should be empty. Let's turn our attention here to the top left. There's this user icon looking button. Um, let's click that and we can see there's an option for sign in and an option for create account. And this is referring to our Unity account that you can make on Unity site. Um, I'm going to sign in. You might have to create your account first. It's going to sign me in automatically because I'm already logged in with the web browser. This is a necessary step because although Unity is free software, there's still a free license that you need to get and authenticate with in order to open the Unity editor. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the hub here. So there's these four tabs projects, installs, learn, and community. So let's start with projects. The projects tab lists all of our previously opened projects. The most recently open is at the top here and it goes in chronological order. Also tells us where that project is located on our hard drive. The last time it was opened as well as a little drop down here that tells us which editor version this project is going to open up in if we were to click it and open that project up. We can click this drop down and pick from the various versions of Unity we have installed um, which editor we want this to open with. In general, it's a best practice to just make your project with one version of Unity and stick with that version. It is possible to upgrade or downgrade but in general, it's not really advisable. So we'll just cancel out of that here. We can click these three dots here to find that project directory in our Windows Explorer, or it would just say show and finder on a Mac. I think that's enough for this projects tab for now. Let's move on to installs. So installs lists all of the various versions of the Unity editor we currently have installed. And you can see I have quite a bunch. But your list is probably empty, so let's change that. Big blue button at the top, install editor. Let's click that and install your first version of Unity here. And you can see all of our recommended versions here all fall under this long-term support area here. They all have this little LTS tab to let you know that they are long-term support. And that basically means that this is considered to be a stable version of Unity that would be a good choice to use for an actual project. The, this version of Unity is going to keep getting bug fixes and support for an amount of time, and it would probably be a good choice to use this LTS version. So I'm going to pick this 2021 version at the top here. Um, and if we click install, it will 
bring us to this next page here, and this is sort of the module window where we can pick which modules we want to have installed along with our editor. The first item here is Microsoft Visual Studio. This is our text editor. It's what we write code in. It's what we write our C-sharp scripts in. I already have it installed, but if it is not installed here, you'll want to check that off and make sure you have Microsoft Visual Studio installed. And after that, there's this platforms area, and this is where we can decide which platforms we want to be able to build our Unity project out to. So there's Android build support, iOS, Linux, Mac. I think I'm going to check off just Android for now. We can choose to add modules afterwards. I'll show you that in a second. So let's say continue, agree to these terms and conditions here for the Android stuff, click install, and we get this project bar here. And we can see it working through and downloading and installing all of our, uh, our editor, documentation, and all of our modules. So Android has quite a few different things that it has to download. So now might be a good time to grab a coffee or something like that. All right, so we can click this uh, drop down here and confirm that everything we wanted to install was in fact installed. So that's good. We can close out of our downloads area here, which is down here, by the way. Shows us our recent downloads and our active downloads. And now we can see this latest version of Unity 2021.3.1F1 is installed with the Android build platform module as well as the Windows one right there. If we wanted to change the modules, if we decided, hey, we want uh, to build for iOS with this version of Unity now, you can click the cog here, go to add modules, check off iOS build support, and click install. That's how we would do that. So let's make a project. So now back in our projects area, we can click this big blue button, new project. And we will name it down here. We can just call it my first project. I'll just put it on the desktop, that's okay. And now we can pick a project template. And there's many to choose from here, but the one we're going to go with most of the time is this 3D URP template. So let's go ahead and download that. The difference between the 3D core template and the 3D URP template is that they use different rendering pipelines. This traditional 3D one uses the built-in renderer, while 3D URP uses the new universal render pipeline, which is much more efficient. So most of the time, we're going to want to go with this template here, 3D URP. Then we can just click this big blue button to create our project. And you can see it's starting to put together our project for us here. This usually takes a couple minutes. That would also be a good time to mention it's usually a good practice to store your projects on an SSD rather than a mechanical hard drive. Reason being, Unity projects are made up of many, many, like we're talking thousands of very small files. Mechanical hard drives don't normally have a good time with that. SSDs provide a huge speed advantage for, um, for accessing small random files like that. And now would probably be a good time to have another coffee. And there we have it. As simple as that, we have our Unity editor installed along with Unity Hub, and we have a brand new, fresh project open, and we are ready to begin our journey into Unity development. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoy working with Unity, and I'll see you next time.